All right, let's start the challenge. Okay, so we have our mannequin here and we're going to see if we can name all the body parts as we pull them out, okay? So we're going to do it first and I'm not going to say a word, but when we pull one out, you shout out what the body part is called. Alright, how many did you get? So what we'll do is we'll put Pat back together again. Kidney. We have two of them. One here and one here. Did you get small did you get intestines for this? Small intestine. So this must be large intestine. Liver, stomach, heart, lung. And of course, we have another one here. Pat seems to be missing hers. And lucky last, brain. How did you go? Alright, so we've named all the body parts. Now do we know what they all do? So, take a body part out, give you a few seconds to say some information about what you know about the body. Brain. Tells the rest of the body what to do. Controls the whole body. Breathes in the oxygen into the bloodstream, takes the carbon dioxide from the blood into the lung, which then goes up the trachea to be breathed out. Heart. Pumps the blood round the body with the oxygen and the food and the water that goes to all parts of our body and keeps our bodies alive. Liver. Well this one has lots of jobs. One of them is as blood goes through the liver, it filters out any toxins or breaks down drugs like Panadol and things like that, that can be used around the body. Stomach. helps with the digestive process. Food goes down the, through the mouth, down the esophagus, into the stomach, which squeezes and squashes the food to make it small enough to continue on to the small intestine. One long, long, very skinny tube. And most of what we eat fits through tiny little microscopic holes in, um, in the small intestine. So our food goes into our blood and goes round the body and nurtures and gives the body energy. 
large intestine. The food, if it gets to the end of the small intestine and it can't fit through those little holes, goes into the large intestines. This is our waste food, a lot of fibrous food, which is good for the body. It goes through the, small, the large intestine and then comes out as feces or poos. And lucky last, the kidneys. These filter the blood and, and take out the waste from the blood which then goes into the bladder and ends up being urine or wheeze and is flushed out the body. Helps to keep the blood healthy. So, how did you go? How many of those did you get the name and the job? As you will see, there are lots more body parts in here that we haven't talked about either. And there's lots more information about those body parts than just that one thing. So, I've got a challenge for you. What can you find out about the body? Because the more we know about how our body works, the easier it is to look after it. There you go. See how many different bits of information you can find out.